Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. I am Shazadi Samra for the course of uh, Emerging Forms of Literature uh, for BS Honors and the course code is ENGL4141 and uh, I wish you all a good health and uh, I pray that you uh, may Allah keep us safe. Ameen. Okay, uh, so today we are going to discuss about uh, the theories like uh, the film theory, the criticism and the technology. So you may have read about or the, uh, about the um, uh, previous lectures uh, or uh, heard the previous lectures about uh, in, in your course the emerging forms of literature, what kind of uh, uh, genres and uh, uh, theories are emerging in the literature and uh, how they are intermingling with the other genres. Uh, like movie theater uh, movies and films uh, motion pictures so today we are going to talk about uh, film theory and criticism film criticism and film technology uh, film theory uh, whenever everyone i guess according to me everyone and uh, it's kind of a theorist or a critic because uh, uh, we all have some kinds of opinions and uh, whether it is good or bad about uh, uh, anything. So it is the is, is same is the case with uh, movies or any piece of literature. So first uh, I will discuss film theory, then I will move on to criticism and technology. Uh, let's see how we can cover how much we can cover in this lecture okay the first one is the film theory uh, just recall anything if you have uh, if you watched a movie and after watching uh, any movie uh, you just uh, we just we like to discuss that uh, movie and we like to give our reviews about that and we discuss this with our friends and uh, that uh, what kind of graphics were what was what kind of acting uh, the actors uh, like uh, they acted how was their uh, like how all the characters were playing roles and uh, we discuss each and everything without uh, a, without a proper knowledge uh, so uh, like uh, sometimes uh, many of us they do blogs uh, they do or videos about a particular film and uh, they give reviews about a film uh, after watching a film and uh, uh, they do this for the uh, other people that they may, may watch uh, like uh, they can get reviews about the movie and uh, after uh, getting the reviews they can decide that whether they want to watch that movie or not so uh, film theory is uh, kind of that uh, film theory is a set of scholarly approaches within the academic uh, discipline of cinema studies uh, that question the essentialism of cinema and provides conceptual frameworks for understanding films relationship to reality, the other arts, individual viewers and society at large. So the film theory is basically uh, it just uh, breaks down a, uh, a movie and uh, it is a scholarly way of uh, uh, doing things it breaks down the movie and it just analyzes each and every aspect of the movie uh, separately uh, like in the literary theories uh, we just uh, pick any kind of theory and we uh, apply that theory and implement that theory on a particular piece of work and uh, we just analyze the, that's, that piece of text uh, whether it is uh, uh, fulfilling uh, the uh, like uh, whether it is fulfilling all the things that uh, are uh, theory the particular theory is demanding or not so same is this uh, case same is the case with the film theory uh, like uh, it is a way of breaking down movies and uh, television shows like uh, 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 we can we it is a study in the study of the movies and uh, uh, like uh, film theory is developed to explain the nature of the motion pictures and how they produce emotional and mental effects on the audience 
so the film theory recognizes the cinema as a distinct art form as well. Uh, it is uh, depict uh, that uh, how the uh, particular, how the uh, producer or the director of the movie it creates or it impacts the audience and they have a particular emotion while watching a movie. Whenever we watch movie or any drama, if there comes a scene of sadness, the sadness uh, or uh, if our favorite character uh, faces any uh, like uh, downfall or anything like that, we just become sad. Sometimes we even cry. So that is how they create mental uh, effects and uh, they create our emotional attachment to the characters. In uh, apart from the film, uh, whenever we read any piece of work or any novel, same thing happens. So this is uh, you know a trick uh, the writers or the authors uh, or filmmakers they have that uh, they do know how to create particular impact uh, on the minds of people by using a particular tool. So that is why the uh, film theory recognized this uh, cinema as a distinct art form as the other art forms. So let's see about uh, the roots of the film theory. Film theory began uh, when the filmmakers were trying to first trying to understand their medium. And uh, so they analyze the uh, mechanisms at play and uh, which could provide meaning and impact for the viewer. So they studied uh, what films, uh, what makes the film stand apart as its own distinct art form. So uh, this is the filmmakers, they wanted to understand what was different about movies. And the theorist uh, in the 1920s, uh, uh, they focused on the camera and the act, um, edit as the two major factors that uh, uh, make a film a unique art form. Uh, everything uh, like uh, in every genre we have different uh, specific uh, things that uh, uh, like uh, that make a, uh, that makes to fall a particular piece of uh, uh, work in particular genre. So uh, that mm, the same is with the uh, films uh, that uh, the particular the theories they said it is uh, the camera and the editing which uh, uh, stands it apart from the other f uh, art forms and in f in film the camera placement can give new dramatic impact impossible in theater and uh, uh, like in theater it is uh, uh, um, uh, you cannot uh, you can create uh, some effects with the light but uh, you can not create uh, many effects like uh, there are, are uh, the close-ups and uh, there are pov shots uh, uh, the zooming and zooming in and the out uh, and many other uh, uh, there are uh, their particular uh, they shot uh, through you know, the particular angle and uh, they also uh, do edit uh, uh, when they are done completing uh, when they are done with the uh, making uh, movies or making films so all these things uh, give a, a new form all these things uh, contribute in the influence of the uh, film on the minds of the people so the uh, editing provides a new context and um, a meaning so just up, uh, posing the images and it also allows film to manipulate the viewers understanding of space and time much of this uh, early theory uh, it's em emphasized the film as uh, different than reality so uh, uh, like uh, now, after the World War II, there was a shift in film theory towards the uniqueness of film uh, to perfectly capture and re uh, record reality. Uh, but this resulted in a new wave and uh, uh, that is uh, the uh, cinema verite, uh, like, uh, and the renewed interest in uh, experimental and avant-garde film great uh, films uh, okay uh, cinema verite it was basically as i told you that after the world war one the uh, shift in the uh, there was a shift in the film theory uh, they uh, focused the film uh, they recorded uh, reality so that is uh, that is how the new wave originated uh, the cinema verite so uh, in the it is a style of filmmaking in which uh, the filmmakers they focus on the reality only on 
own reality otherwise films are, are basically they are um, uh, like uh, in uh, form of inverted realities or the virtual reality or uh, fantasy plus reality so uh, in 1960s uh, film theory uh, became uh, heavily influenced by the semiotics uh, and um, psychoanalysis gender studies uh, marxism feminist film theory and many other branches of the film theory were solidified during this era and uh, uh, while in uh, 1990s uh, it brought uh, the digital revolution uh, like uh, the technology so the theorists uh, they begin exploring the differences between the representation of the digital technologies versus the indexical images of the analog cell light so uh, as the technologies uh, have progressed the contemporary film theory uh, it now looks at where and how we encounter cinema and uh, the new theories explore the spectatorship and uh, the collective experience of cinema uh, uh, so uh, they examine uh, how the uh, uh public uh, screenings have different effects than viewing films alone so uh, there are some of the theories uh, uh, or there are wide variety of uh, theories but uh, to summarize uh, sorry uh, before moving on to theories i would like you oh i would like you all to know about uh, how does one can analyze a film and uh, uh, like analyzing a film is called uh, uh or uh, is called the film theory or uh, what are the tools for analyzing a film and uh, what tools uh, uh, film theorist used whenever they analyze a film so i just put a picture or a chart uh, for this that uh, the elements of the film theory Uh, so it is just a brief overview of the elements of film theory that how can a person analyze uh, uh, a film and how theorists film theorists they analyze a particular uh, film so first one is the types of film and uh, uh, there are like uh, the realism the classical films and the formalist films second uh, is the shorts uh like uh, extreme close ups uh, then there are close ups then medium shots full shots long shot or wide shots then the extreme long shots extreme wide shots and so on there are different angles high angle high angle low angle and oblique angle and uh, uh, lightning and the color the saturation of the color the diegetic and non diegetic colors uh, uh, sorry the sound um, diegetic and non diegetic sound then editing and uh, then the mise en scene so uh, it is basically the placement around the flame uh, f- uh, frame that the face to camera and the space uh, in the uh, placement of the camera basically so these are the uh, elements uh, which uh, the film theorists uh, use to analyze any film so uh, we are not going into the detail uh, it will take a lot of time and uh, they are also not part of our lecture uh, so we'll move on to the theories and i told you there are many theories and some theories they contradict with each other while others work together so uh, these theories are like lenses through which you can view film so i have mentioned or i have uh, uh, like uh, men, uh, uh, noted down some of the uh, theories like uh, there are five in there are more than five or here so i want to discuss all the theories in detail uh, rather i have selected few theories uh, which i will discuss in detail and uh, about other theories i would give you the name and uh, a little bit about uh, that theory
so the first one is the formalist film theory as uh, the formalism literary theory so they talk about the formalist they talk about uh, the form or the content of uh, any piece of work so the formalist film theory is also like that they uh, they uh, the um, like they looked at the uh, technical aspects of the film like shots editing lighting sound they were more concerned about uh, how these works uh, or these elements means they create an impact on the viewer so they simply uh, focused on the style of the production or the form of the production structuralist uh, film theory the structuralist they focus on the structure that the larger structures and uh, whenever you need to understand any uh, single entity or any particular uh, piece you need to put it into the larger structure so the context is important for the structuralist so in the structuralist the basic uh, there is a basic underlying structure to the film uh, but com uh, comparing patterns and relationships of the structure within a single film and uh, between several films we can better uh, understand meaning so the the structuralism the structuralist film theory it focuses on the uh, themes as well as the use of signs uh, symbols and the conventions to interpret that film now comes the apparatus th film theory or apparatus theory i would discuss this theory in detail as well so the the apparatus theory it is uh, uh, it states that a film is ideological in nature or the cinema is ideological in nature uh, how uh, is it ideological in nature uh, uh, the apparatus theory it states that uh, a film or cinema they uh, uh, depict a particular ideology in their own selves their own the ideology is the part of their nature so the simple mechanics of representation or uh, uh, like uh, the uh, point of view of the filmmakers uh, and uh, what is uh, what would be the sh uh, would be shooted or uh, what uh, would be the cut down and uh, all these uh, now points uh, uh, they comes under the category of the apparatus film theory so this holds that creating a film is a political act either reinforcing or uh, subverting the dominant cultural paradigm so uh, like uh, if we don't like uh, something we just uh, cut it out and if we do like something we just put it in the uh, short so that is how the apparatus theory works then comes the uh, marxist film theory marxism that is all about the power and uh, the politics uh, okay the so the marxist film theory is concerned about uh, the uh, production of film it uh, focuses on the relationship of the filmmaker to the film and uh, the relationship of the film to the audience so the it uh, it uh, is it is based in influencing the viewer through realistic and unbiased structure and uh, the the marxist film makers they use uh, like with this they use jump cuts and uh, uh, jarring edits to avoid any suspension of belief within their audience so they just focus on the realistic things and uh, they don't become Mm, uh, biased so the feminist film theory uh, as the word uh, the term feminist is denoting that it would be about uh, the relationship of women with the film so it this theory examines uh, basically it examines the relationship of women with the film uh, so originally it focused on the depiction of women in cinema uh, but film theory critics uh, uh, like um, they uh, also focused on the relationship of the woman and the film so in this framework uh, uh, like the male gaze uh, a film the a critic uh, a critic of male the male gaze in this framework uh, men are um, the act participants in the world and uh, women are objects that uh, matter only so far as their relationship to men so like uh, women are known be uh, because of men so that uh, uh, that is what the feminists were against 
uh, so the feminist film theory uh, questions how representation on screen and in film make you, uh, making in process it reflects the real world so they were depicting the, uh, that uh, how the uh, filmmakers like uh, whether it is a male or female how uh, that filmmaker is depicting the relationship of women with the film or the uh, role of women in the society so uh, the next theory is uh, there are more than uh, 30 theories uh, like about 59 I guess or uh, m more than 30 theories uh, there isn't an uh, actual um, figure for that but I have selected some of them so the next one is the queer film theory so the queer film theory uh, it examines the uh, film's role in creating uh, heterosexual norms and it also examines and questions the depiction of people whose uh, sexual and uh, gender identities have been historically marginalized like uh, women uh, like gays like lesbians so uh, these are the uh, genders and uh, whose identities were marginalized so the queer film theory it gives uh, it gave uh, it gave rise to or it gave identity uh, to those genders uh, gender identity uh, to sorry uh, to those gender as well a your theory a your theory is another theory that i would discuss uh, further in detail um so now uh, like a theory i would just give a uh, brief idea that a is uh, the french word and uh, the french theorist originated this so it means that uh, the director who ultimately becomes the author a means author it is a french term for author so uh, this theory promotes the idea that the director ultimately is the author of a film so this perspective holds that although others such as the screenwriter and the cinematographer or major creative forces that director has the final authority uh, uh, and uh, a true author has uh, distinctive characteristics uh, that make their work regardless of the other influences on the project uh, mm, mm, sorry that mark their word dis, uh, or that uh, make their works to stand apart from the other projects like uh, yeah, when we say every uh, writer uh, they have a particular writing style or every author they have particular writing style by uh, and uh, that writing style is often different from the other so uh, at your theory uh, when you, uh, you become an author you cannot copy someone else writing style uh, uh, every person uh, or every writer they have unique qualities they have unique uh, style that uh, makes their writing or they make that makes their uh, piece of work to stand apart from the other pieces of work so uh, the author or the author uh, like uh, the director whose uh, distinctive characteristics that mark their work regardless of this cinematographer or the other major creative forces so next comes the neo formalism in film okay neo formalist uh, as we know about the neo classes classism and the neo classicism so the neo formalism is a pushback towards looking looking at uh, very elements that uh, make up a uh, film and a rejection of the over reliance uh, uh, on symbolism in modern theory so like as modern they modern theorists they do rely on the symbolism they use symbolist technique in their works so, so it rejected that idea uh, so the uh, the uh, they in the film they take into account the cognitive effect of the film on the viewer that um, and the more uh, specifically it considered that films uh, that to films direct our attention to more important narrative information and also points out that art is not uh, simply symbolism because art often asks the viewer to look at similar familiar objects and concepts through new lenses so that is basically uh, all the theories they uh, make us learn this thing that uh, to uh, view a particular thing through a dis different perspective so uh, 
and you know uh, formalists they also talked about this uh, next comes uh, the cognitive film theory cognitive film theory cognitive word there it is relevant to our uh, uh, like uh, mental capabilities the intellect human intellect so the word itself is denoting that uh, what mm, this theory can talk about uh, and uh, it uh, does focus on the human intellect and how the film impacts on the human intellect and um, uh, how man and is capable of uh, uh, you know observing the trivialities of a movie any drawbacks or any trivial things that is uh, uh, like uh, enhancing the significance of the particular movie so uh, these are they discussed about these theories uh, uh, a little bit of these theories so i i guess i should move on to the uh, detail of the um, theories that i selected uh, or i chose uh, uh, in this course to f uh, read further to study further uh, first one is the apparatus theory second one is the auteur theory and third one is the cognitive theory now back to the apparatus theory the word apparatus as a noun is the technical equipment or machinery needed for a particular activity or purpose so the word apparatus itself is denoting that uh, apparatus what um, like uh, if you know, were the student of uh, science or uh, apparatus is a common term that we use for tools or uh, that we use for uh, uh, technical equipment or machinery uh, to use uh, for particular purposes so um, apparatus theory it means uh, it m uh, might be focusing on the uh, tools or uh, things that are are being used uh, by the filmmakers to uh, uh, to like uh, to create certain effects um, uh, on the minds of the uh, audience uh, like uh, the virtual reality and um, uh, uh, like uh, the uh, camera position the angle like ups or down uh, angles and uh, like against uh, uh, gravity the actions they show that uh, that they take against uh, gravity so these are the kind of uh, things uh, the apparatus theory focuses on so the definition uh, like of the word apparatus as a noun is the technical equipment or machinery needed for a particular activity or purpose so the board uh, in uh, like in 1970 it was uh, uh, dominant this theory was dominant in uh, 1970s uh, like all it says that all the movies were made to reflect uh, some reality and ideology and uh, uh, like uh, and the Baudry was among the uh, f uh, first film theorists to suggest that the cinematic apparatus or technology has an ideological impact upon the spectator. Uh, what kind of uh, like a cinematic apparatus? So the, uh, they're um, uh, like a camera, the set, or uh, uh, the uh, uh, other. Uh, uh, use of graphics or other tools uh, all the tools uh, uh, or all the technologies uh, that are being used in the uh, cinema to make a movie so uh, he says that all these uh, apparatus uh, and uh, all these uh, uh, all the technology it has an ideological impact upon the spectators upon the, uh, the audience or viewers or the different sound effects so uh, the apparatus theory of the film uh, uh, is the idea that is used to make a movie uh, and like sets the camera position the cgi cgi means uh, camera graphics uh, imagery uh, make up what the illogical perspective and the reality of the film is and the use of the e uh, computer uh, sorry computer graphics uh, imagery it just generates uh, a virtual reality uh, for the viewers 
so the apparatus theory uh, it does focuses on this thing that uh, what kind of apparatuses are being used in, in this and how these apparatuses they uh, just uh, they made an impact on the uh, spectator and um, it also says that uh, uh, it has an ideological impact ideologic the word the term ideology that uh, uh, the it argues that the cinema is based on ideas or ideology because it reproduces the reality uh, ideology is not imposed uh, on cinema but it is a part of its nature and it uh, it forms that how we think whenever we watch a movie whenever uh, uh, we visit uh, cinema so uh, when, yeah, it is all the movie all the sound effects all the lighting even the uh, uh, cinema the uh, the room the theater or, or movie hall um, the atmosphere of the movie hall is also uh, very important uh, in uh, 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 creating an impact on our minds on the minds of the viewers so it says the uh, this theory says that ideology is not imposed on cinema rather it is a part of its nature it it has ideology in its own so it has its own ideology that is why it becomes a distinct art form and uh, it uh, does no it makes the ideology and uh, then uh, it makes us to think like that we follow that ideology uh, whether knowingly or unknowingly it mostly happens unknowingly so what was created on a film illustrates uh, different ideas on which everything has a meaning uh, that include the camera and the editing so uh, that is the apparatus theory it uh, argues about uh, the uh, that to film and uh, uh, film and cinema about being in the ideolo ideological so the next is the uh, cinema is ideological uh, the as i was saying that uh, many theories are uh, uh, in controversy with each other and uh, many theories are working together so the apparatus theory uh, it is derived in part from the marxist film theory semiotics and uh, psychoanalysis so uh, uh, like uh, it maintains that cinema is uh, cinema is by nature ideological because uh, the films are created to represent reality uh, uh, and uh, the mechanics that means the uh, that is included uh, in the um, like uh, in creating the ideology of the cinema is uh, move uh, like or the movie is acting uh, cinematography, lighting, sound, and uh, mm, all the uh, aspects that are uh, making, uh, that are contributing in uh, making a movie or uh, in uh, enhancing the significance of, of a movie, all these things uh, has meanings. So uh, that is how it becomes an ideology. So in this theory, uh, film tells the uh, uh, spectators or uh, viewers uh, that uh, the story is real, although it was uh, cre uh, presented by the projector or screen uh, through different ideas and the power of the camera shots, the film will be realistic because of the way they took the video and uh, the editing that they did. So like in a pre uh, so in apparatus theory, it uh, uh, it re uh, reproduces the reality it is not it doesn't depict reality it reproduces the reality so the uh, or what else is uh, else matters uh, I, as i said that acting cinematography uh, lighting uh, sound all these uh, aspects all uh, the mechanics uh, that take part in a movie they are, they have separate meanings so uh, the main argued that the central position of the viewer is ideological because it is a reproduced reality the position of the viewer how whenever uh, we go to cinema we just uh, uh, we prefer certain seats that uh, no i want to sit there no i want to take see those seats uh, uh, and uh, mm, and all that all the arguments it is because that uh, we somehow know that uh, if I'll sit there, 
uh, I uh, I get the perfect view or the picture or the sound is clear uh, in this position or uh, the sound effects are more uh, good in this seat or whatever so this is the uh, that the viewer takes all these elements the elements the acting cinematography the mentioned in the above point all these elements in as they watch and the view helps impose meaning on to the film uh, when we watch a movie uh, there although uh, it, uh, there is a um, st- uh, story uh, but uh, every person uh, it does possess a different opinion about a particular movie it is because every person uh, uh, like these uh, mechanics these points and uh, these elements that are uh, you being used in the or that are used in the movie they have a, a certain impact on uh, different people like uh, it varies from person to person so uh, we give meaning to the uh a certain actions like uh, whenever we are watching if something happens so uh, then we make guesses that it might have uh, happened now okay i guess something is going to happen or uh, if this can happen or that can happen we like to give predictions so that is the impact of these uh, uh, elements now uh, basically the, these elements they uh, have impact on our, our mind that make us think or make us uh, view so the uh, film in the particular perception so uh, i have also put some example in this uh, like uh, christopher uh, sorry i just m- i missed spell the christopher Christopher Nolan's movie Inception. Uh, in this movie, uh, it is composed of a complex storyline and screenplay, and the location where the movie is um, it been filmed, they were very uh, like intricating or uh, intriguing. So uh, he is also the director of uh, the Batman and uh, other such uh, superhero movies. Uh, Uh, and uh, the virtual uh, reality we mm, see that real virtual reality in superhero movies actually uh, so that uh, they uh, basically uh, like uh, they create a version of uh, reality the movies that create version of reality but based on luyan so uh, the landscaping like this set uh, is part where the set uh is where the set part of uh, uh, a pretty theory uh, comes into play and uh, having an intricate set is a way to distort the view of the real world and the reality of the film so mm, uh, i would like to add uh, a five minute clip for this so that you may know that uh, how they are just creating or how they are reproducing the reality let's move on to the clip so this is the clip that i want you all to watch the horizontal rotating corridor is an early concept So I just want you to give a bit of the idea, and you can also watch it uh, on YouTube uh, to get a uh, more idea that how they reproduce the reality. So there are the other example. You can watch these uh, movies as well: The Birds, The Man Who Knew Too Much, uh, The Death Wish series, and so on. So it will help you know get to know that uh, how they reproduce the reality, uh, uh, and uh, the uh, apparatus theory it does focus on that. So the n- next. sorry i was just checking <laughs> next one is the auteur theory andre bazin is a renowned and influential uh, french film critic and theorist uh, <clears throat> who just put forward the idea of uh, auteur theory so uh, bazin believed in favored uh, films having uh, montage and uh, realism and uh, he has been considered as uh, one of the best uh, critics of all time like uh, it is also considered that uh, 
the founder and um, author of uh, Khais Du Cinema. I, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it uh, right or not because it is a French uh, uh, French name of the uh, name, or uh, uh, which means uh, that uh, uh, notebook on cinema. So. Andre Bazin paved the way for a breakthrough in traditional film making to French new wave. So he said that he made a comparison, articles and comparison in which he said that a uh, good film cannot be made with the Italian neuralism and uh, German expressionism. He believed that it stands in the way of realism which gives the film a true potential of its, uh, to its audience. So, uh, in his article, uh, the evolution of the language of cinema, uh, or what is cinema, etc., he uh, created ripples of acceptance and uh, uh, like his art that article and uh, criticism around the world, uh, as uh, there were many fa uh, f uh, f uh, who favored this theory or theory, and there were many who just uh, opposed uh, this theory. Uh, so he views and interest on literature, science, uh, technology, and humanism gave uh, a full-fledged movement uh, to the new wave after his demise. So uh, he introduced uh, a theory, theory that said uh, uh, directors are the creators of the film, and uh, making the director's own style only makes the film unique and creative. Like. Uh, uh, the uh, the director puts uh, his or her own stamp on, on a movie because they oversee all the audio and visual elements of the motion picture and uh, that is why they are more to be considered as the author of the movie than uh, uh, as the screen writer of the screenplay. So uh, this theory it uh, became uh, popular in France in uh, 1940s and um, uh, there was an american critic uh, like andrew series who pushed this idea who was against this and uh, but uh, this theory it took hold in 1951 when andre uh, 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 wrote about uh, um, like um, about not uh, like a notebook on cinema and he said that directors are the authors of the film and uh, they should create their own uh, signature style and not uh, be totally influenced by the script given like the writer. So he says that uh, all, all the work is done by uh, directors. So they should be considered as the authors instead of the writer of the screenplay of any movie. Uh, and because they uh, uh, like uh, they uh, oh, see uh, they focus on everything, and uh, every directors uh, uh, should have a, their own style, their uh, own signature style. Because, uh, like, uh, uh, whenever, uh, as I uh, told you, that every writer they have their own particular writing style. Uh, same is the case with the directors; they do have their own particular uh, style of filmmaking. Uh, so. Yeah, although uh, there is no specific definition for auteur theory, but it can be said that the films reflect the personal ideas and styles of the director or director is the author of the work. So uh, uh, before the theory uh, was introduced, film was considered a work of art and the actors who made the sheets of scripts. Uh, come to life uh, like the uh, Audrey Hamber film, the Marx Brothers film and uh, uh, other like uh, science fiction film, thriller movies or uh, horror movies etc. But the theory believed that uh, uh, the good film can be made only when the director believes himself that can create greatest piece of work given the script to work as a, uh, a skeleton or a frame to work on. So, if the director uh, uh, his influence and the style with the script overwhelming the ideas of the director, then the film has every chance to fail. So, uh, uh, so he said that uh, it is uh, basically dependent on the director, how he can um, uh, make his film good or how he can make his film bad. 
So the theory is still tossed around today with many people trying to add rules uh, on how many movies director must make and whether or not the director can also be a writer. So the writers are used to getting the short end uh, of the um, stick uh, all over Hollywood. So suffice it to say that uh, they are not the huge proponents of uh, audio theory, uh, but no one cares. So the examples uh, about uh, the um, like uh, uh, your theory, or we, uh, we can say that uh, before the example, we can say that the director is the primary force. To conclude that uh, director is the primary force and creator of the film and making film is a unified effort of the team and each and every individual who work in that movie and uh, well, lack of uh, information or expertise might collapse the movie let it be the directional or uh, script production costume makeup etc this collective efforts uh, is what makes a remarkable movie and the director is the one who brings the character to life and the burden take by the director is very huge in the current day when people now recognize the films that release as um, uh, like uh, Howard Hawks film uh, Pixar films uh, uh, Steven Spielberg films uh, so uh, all the work is basically the major force is dependent on the director so that is why uh, uh, he talked about uh, uh, he gave the theory of uh, um, uh, a theorism that a uh, director is should be considered as the author or the writer of the uh, film so i have added example of the um, of a film uh, that was uh, that is the city of god and uh, it was uh, directed by fernando and uh, filmed and released uh, in 2002 so it's a motion picture and uh, produced with a brazilian um, crime genre so the framework of the movie plot was liberally rooted from factual incidents and uh, mirrors the, uh, the propagation of uh, orchestrated delinquency in the commuter belt of uh, uh, Rio de Janeiro uh, like uh, he the, um, the 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 incidents he depicted in the movie are uh, uh, about uh, the uh, uh, criminal activities and um, uh, that happened in the uh, metropolitan city uh, so the period was the 1960s to later period of the 1980s and the conclusion in the movie illustrates that the bloodshed fight in the midst of a substance paddler uh, Lise and a fellow named Coco uh, sorry knockout so i would instead of narrating i have uh, added a clip of the movie just to change the mood so let's watch that clip <laughs> so you just uh, watch the um sorry you just watch the uh, clip of the movie in which uh, the uh, criminal uh, activity was going on uh, near the like communal belt community belt so that is all for uh, now i guess uh, um, so uh, today we discussed uh, two major theories uh, the achor theory and uh, the uh, apparatus theory and um, uh, I have also put uh, references in this slide and uh, uh, you can access the data from uh, these uh, uh, like links and uh, or you can like uh, uh, in the next lecture uh, I will discuss about the cognitive film theory and uh, I will also discuss one more theory in that lecture so for uh, this lecture is enough I guess so uh, thank you for your patience and stay blessed.